Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about the nine brands that I wanna try in 2019. Yes, I was actually able to come up with nine of them that I think I really legitimately will be able to try in the next year. When I was filming my follow-up video to my eight brands that I tried in 2018, I was skeptical. I really didn't think that I could do it, but, but I did. And I also am going to tell you about the YouTuber slash influencer that totally enabled me to want to try these brands. But before we get into the list, I have um, one, two, three, three things, three things to tell you guys. First is I want to give a special shout out to Samantha March because she is the person who has always inspired me to do this series on my channel. When she did eight brands she wanted to try in 2018 at the beginning of this year, it inspired me to do it on my channel. I've also heard that Jen Loves Reviews has done this as well and she's also fantastic. So I will link both of their channels for you guys in the description box if you want to see more of this type of video from somebody else. Number two, uh, if you're not subscribed, I hope you will consider clicking the button, coming back, watching more of my videos. Your support means a lot to me. And there have been people that have told me that they are subscribed and they are not seeing my videos show up in their subscription feed. One thing I've noticed, you have to make sure you're not on like the home tab, you're actually on the subscription tab because the home tab does not show you all the videos from your subscriptions. It shows you like just the ones it thinks you may want to watch. So make sure you're checking your full subscription feed. But really the best thing to do is click the little bell that will turn on notifications for my channel. I only upload like two max three times a week. I promise I won't harass you, but it is the best way to know exactly when I'm uploading if you don't want to miss my videos. And then thing number three, this is just a little, I'm really excited because I'm trying out this product for the first time today. This is like a little glitter from Pure Cosmetics in the shade Lust. I got this at Gen Beauty in my little like attendee swag bag thing. And I put it on my eyes today. It is literally the only thing aside from mascara on my eyes and like a little bit of highlighter I put in the inner corner. How freaking pretty is this? I feel like this was the easiest eye look ever. I basically just put it on, blended it out with my fingers, waited till it dried, and then went in with a fluffy brush and kind of like just buffed out the edges. Boom, done, so sparkly, so cute. All right, so now that we've gotten thoroughly distracted, <laughs> let's get back to the nine brands I wanna try in 2019. So brand number one is Pistache Skincare, and this is entirely because of Coffee Break with Danny. I enjoy Danny's channel so much. She's just very bubbly and down to earth and funny, and I really enjoy her vlogs. It's like the kind of thing I'll put on while I'm like cleaning the house on the weekends, just as kind of like, background it just kind of feels like you're hanging out with someone when you're watching her videos i love them and uh, she talks about the whipped pistachio body butter from pistache all the time it's like in her empties every time she does an empties video and since i've seen it on her channel I've been wanting to buy that product. And I've come like this close multiple times. I just have a lot of like body lotion in my dresser that I've been trying to use up. And I kind of have been telling myself, Lauren, you don't need to buy any more body lotion right now. You need to get through the stash you have. So I've been holding off. But I think 2019 is gonna be the year. And I also saw more recently that they have a pistachio cleansing oil, which to me makes me think of the L'Occitane like almond cleansing oil, which I really like, but I don't really want to support L'Occitane anymore. So that seemed to me like the perfect product. I love basically anything sort of pistachio, Italian cookie smelling, anything that smells like a dessert. I want to put it all over my body, apparently. So pistache skincare just seems like it will be right up my alley. I definitely want to try them in 2019. Brand number two on my list is Melt Cosmetics. Melt is one of those brands that I've had my eye on for years and I feel like people who have really excellent like very makeup tutorial oriented channels frequently use and talk about their products. Like for example my specific inspiration right now is Raw Beauty Christie. I just watched her recent uh, review slash tutorial using the new uh, Smoke Sessions palette and it was absolutely incredible. The Gemini palette looks absolutely incredible. So now more than ever, like when they just had the stacks, they were so expensive, it was a little less interesting to me to try something from Melt. But now that they're coming out with more palettes, I definitely want to get my hands on one of them. Brand number three that I really want to try in 2019 is Beauty 
Bakery. Now, what's really extra exciting is that Beauty Bakery is now available at Ulta, which should make it even easier to get than ever. I can use my points towards it or earn points on my orders for it. So if I had any sort of wishy-washy feelings about Beauty Bakery in the past, it was probably related to having to just go and order from their website and spending money somewhere where I'm not getting kind of like rewards credit for it. So all that's gone, I have no excuses. And probably the person that has made me most interested in Beauty Bakery that I watch is Jackie Ina. I freaking love Jackie Ina. She just, she makes me laugh so hard. Every one of her videos, her personality is just, it's amazing. She's funny and she's sassy and she does bomb makeup looks. Like if you're not watching her videos, I don't know what you're doing with your life. So you, you need to get on it. But she is a big supporter of Beauty Bakery. She frequently demos their products when they launch new things. So I definitely feel like I'm gonna have to go back and especially watch some of her videos on their lip products. I think those are the ones I'm most interested in trying currently. And I'll have to see what shades are calling to me. The fourth brand that I really wanna try in 2019 is Lily Lashes. I do love a good pair of lashes. I'm obviously not wearing any today because it's feeling kind of lazy. It's that time of the month. I'm just wasn't gonna happen. But over the course of 2018, I've really grown to appreciate wearing false lashes. I feel much more confident applying them now. I have a better idea of what styles I like and what suits my eye shape and what I wanna shop for. And I've heard nothing but good things about Lily Lashes. I mainly think of like Nikki Tutorials and the Miami Lashes. Like Nikki Tutorials, I mean, her makeup looks are incredible. There's a reason why she has like, I don't know what, like 13 million, 11 million. She has a lot of followers. Definitely gonna need to like shop around a little Little bit and see what styles I'm most interested in aside from the Miami ones but Lily Lashes is again another brand that's new to Ulta along with a bunch of other popular lash brands like House of Lashes, Blinky Beauté, both of which are brands I haven't also tried before. They, those don't count towards my list but they are also brands I really would like to try in 2019. Maybe we should just say in general I want to try more false lashes. Really into upping my false lash game in 2019. So brand number five on my list, this one is completely the fault of Samantha March, is Lawless Beauty. They look like they have some really amazing products. They're very small at this point. They don't have a big range because they're a fairly new brand, so they're still coming out with a lot of new stuff. I'm actually really excited to see what they end up launching in 2019, so maybe that will be a good year to finally be introduced to the brand, but I believe they have really great liquid lipsticks. That's probably the thing I'm most interested in trying. I think they have a foundation, and they have some other products as well, maybe a powder. I think Samantha said she really liked their powder, so that also would intrigue me. I love a good setting powder, having oily skin. And I think the thing about Lawless, aside from the fact that Samantha has raved about them and I trust her reviews, is that they seem to have a really great sort of mission behind them. They want to make makeup that's better for you. They're cruelty free. They just seem to be a sort of more ethical brand, which I really appreciate. So I would love to give them some support and uh, try some things from them in 2019. Brand number six on my list is a skincare brand. They're actually a K Beauty skincare brand, and I believe they're in the same family of brands as Laneige, and it's a brand called Mamond. Uh, and I heard about this brand from Jen. Her channel slash Instagram is Budiction. She is like the queen of swatches. She buys like every new palette, swatches it right away. She is such a boss. If you are not following her on Instagram or here on YouTube. She's a great source of information and reviews. I highly recommend checking her out. And recently I was watching one of her videos talking about her favorite skincare products and she was raving about some of these Memond products, specifically their cleansing oil. She said it doesn't leave any residue behind. It really gets your makeup off. It doesn't irritate your skin. And it's not an insanely expensive brand. They're kind of priced in that mid-range like Pixi where it's like a little more expensive than regular drugstore, but not quite as expensive as your typical Sephora brand. So I really wanna get my hands on some stuff from them. They again are also new to Ulta and I saw that they had some really nice gift sets for the holidays with a bunch of different products inside. So I'm thinking that may be a really great option, like something to pick up so I can try a bunch of different products from the brand. Brand number seven on my list is is Profusion Cosmetics. I have still never tried anything from Profusion. Somehow, I don't know how that's possible because I feel like all of my YouTuber friends are constantly talking about their products. Like I know Kim Nozolo, she talks about them, Stephanie, Katie Marie, 
a lot of people use Profusion. A lot of them also get PR from them, so they get to test and try out a bunch of their palettes, and they're very, very affordable. You can buy them at like Target and uh, TJ Maxx and such but they have really, really very affordable price points. So they're really great as a YouTuber if you wanna make a more affordable recommendation to your channel as an alternative to like some higher end products. So I just really wanna like know what they're about. I wanna give them a try for myself, obviously. It's not gonna like break the bank for me to pick up a couple of palettes. I just like really haven't done it yet because I've had so many other things that I've been wanting to test and try out. But. I think in 2019, we're gonna have to make Profusion happen. Brand number eight is another sort of new brand to the whole beauty world. I've seen a lot of people um, box PR from this brand because I think they sent out kind of like a big sort of welcome mailer like, hi, we're new to Sephora, let us put ourselves on your radar kind of thing. I think specifically the two YouTubers that I watched that talked about this product and gave it some glowing reviews that really got me most intrigued were Tati and Kathleen Lights. And the brand I'm talking about is Kaja. So it looks like Kaja is like a K-beauty brand. They have really, really super cute makeup products and like very cutesy little packaging. They had some really, really cute, like very glittery eye trios that looked right up my alley. They had like a cream blush stamp again right up my alley. Since they're a new brand, I'm sure that they will be launching a lot of new products in 2019, so I'm really excited also to see what they're gonna come out with. But yeah, it just seemed like something I would like. It was new, it was different. There isn't a ton, ton of information out there because they're a new brand, so I'm into it. I think I, think I will like some of their products a lot. And then finally, the last brand, okay, this last brand is like kind of sort of a, like a little bit cheating, but like only kind of sort of. So the ninth brand that I put on my list is Nabla Cosmetics. And the reason I say it's cheating is because technically I just bought a Nabla product. I just tried it out within the last week, but there's like literally only three weeks left to 2018. I had already filmed my update for 2018. So I kind of feel like even though technically I'm trying my first product now, I'm gonna lump it into next year. And really it's just that I wanna try so much from the brand. Like one, one product is not enough because everything Nabla speaks to my soul. Everything about their aesthetic and they're also Italian. I, I am of Italian descent. I'm half Italian on my dad's side. So, you know, I feel like they're like a kindred makeup spirit of mine. They just have so many beautiful eyeshadows. Oh my God, their eyeshadow singles look incredible. And based on the quality of the Soul Blooming palette, which is what I just picked up over like uh, Black Friday weekend, it is so buttery and pigmented and smooth and beautiful. It's just like, mm, it's so nice. I cannot wait to use it on camera for you guys so you can see what it's like because I just really enjoyed it so much. It makes me really excited to try more from the brand. I know they have beautiful lip products and they release some gorgeous like highlighters and blushes for the holidays and just basically everything they've released I have wanted to get my hands on. It's just very difficult being here in the United States because Nabla, like shipping from the brand direct is very expensive. I've been told you can buy them on Beauty Bay, which I did check out. It does look like shipping to the United States from Beauty Bay is way more affordable, but they don't carry like the full range of Nabla products. They only have a few of like their best selling things. So if you want the Drink Me palette, you want the Soul Blooming palette, you might as well get it from Beauty Bay. But if you want more of their like limited edition products or kind of more of the expansive new things from their line, it doesn't look like Beauty Bay carries them yet. So that is the only downside. So that is it guys. Those are the nine brands I want to try in 2019. I'm really quite excited about it actually because I feel like I feel really good about this list. I'm really genuinely interested in all of these brands. I think I will definitely get my hands on all these products. Hopefully not all at once because then I might go broke. But I'm sure over the course of an entire year, I will be able to make it happen. I feel like 2019, it's gonna be a good year for beauty. I'm ready, I'm pumped. There are so many amazing things constantly being released. I cannot wait to get my hands on them and tell you guys what I think. If you are also excited to try out some new brands in the new year, let me know in the comments down below what's on your list. Are you also interested in any of these brands? Have you tried any of them before? If you have recommendations of the nine brands that I just talked about, if there's anything I should pick up first, let me know. I always love hearing your guys' feedback. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I always really appreciate 
your support. It means so, so much to me. Again, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Click the bell if you want to make sure that you know when they're live so you can go and check them out. And with all that being said, I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.